Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can create a desktop notification app using Python. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all, we will open sublime text and we will write some code, some Python code here. So first of all, we'll import time because we need to import time here and the second line we will write from plier import notifications notification from plier so pl what is plier here plier is a python library for accessing features of your hardware and platforms that means you are trying to access the notification here so plier is important if you don't have plier installed on your system just open command prompt and type in pip install plier and it will automatically install on your system so what is this for if name equals to equals to main what is the main purpose of this let's find it out it will be under double quotes main will be under double quotes inside double quotes so the main use of this is python files can act as either reusable or as standalone programs if name equals to equals to main is used to execute some code only if the file was run directly and not imported so in windows there is task scheduler which is used to schedule task to maintain to show notifications basically we are going to do this thing with python we are going to do the task of task scheduler with python itself by coding in python okay so hit enter and in the next line we will type while true hit enter notification dot notify bracket hit tab okay now you need to enter the title that is the title of your notification let's write here please take some take a break please take a break short break then we need to write the message which will be contained in the under the title so let's write here it's good to take short breaks during after 25 minutes of work as per the pomodoro technique 25 minutes of work bracket within brackets as per the Promodoro technique so here we have our title and message ready so let's hit enter and here we will place the app icon app underscore icon equals to and within inverted commas we will place the location here we will place the file path here file location here so we will download and dot ico file which is the icon file i have already downloaded it you can download any icon file dot ico file from google itself so let us save this first in the folder where the ico file is stored i have already created a folder where the ico file is stored and i will save it here as main.py and then i will go to the folder as you can see here main.py and the icon file is stored here now i will go to properties and i will go to security and i will just copy the file location from here i will copy the file location from here and i will paste it in the code within inverted commas so as you can see it is done we have also set the app icon here 
now we will set the timeout for it is for the time limit the notification will appear on your screen timeout equals to 10 second it will appear for 10 seconds now after how much time interval after which particular amount of time interval it will appear so that is time dot sleep 25 minutes equal that means 1500 seconds so this is our code let's save it and let's go to the folder where we have stored these two files and let's open command prompt here cmd and now let us run the file python space main.py and hit enter so here is a error in line 10 so let me see if there is any error here so yes I have forgotten to give the comma here and let us save it and try it again so python space main.py and hit enter and now as you can see here the notification is arriving here please take a short break it goes to take it's good to take short breaks after 25 minutes of work as per the pomodoro technique so it is appearing here so now if you want to run this notification app in background what to do we will just open command prompt we'll just exit the terminal now by entering ctr control plus c and now to run this particular piece of code in background we will type python w python w space main.py which is the file name and hit enter okay let me reduce the time dot sleep here let's reduce to six uh, not six three seconds and let us let me save the file and now let's run it after every three second it will keep on appearing it will keep on running in background and it will show you the notification after every three seconds because the time dot sleep here is set to three here so even if i close the terminal even if i close the mm, command prompt it will automatically run in background so to remove it open task manager and find the process and end it kill the process and it will, and it will automatically stop after a few seconds so this is how you can make a python app run in background this is how you can make a python script run in background and make a desktop notification app so this was all about today's video please do like and share this video and subscribe my youtube channel for regular updates related to technology cyber security and ethical hacking thanks for watching this video stay tuned for the next one